But do you understand, people? Pay attention to what's being said to you. If it goes against scripture, you see, no, all the last day's prophecies are already prophesied. Do you understand? And if somebody called themselves prophesying all their life, if it don't come to pass, why are you still going to that church? I guess you just like being, you like soothing words. It sounds good, I guess. My brother in Christ sent me a video this morning about a, the Seventh Day of Venice, about the, the head lady of that, who prophesied that the world was going to come to an end at a certain time. It didn't happen, and everybody's still Seventh Day of Venice. I understand the Seventh Day is supposed to be holy, and I like that part of it. But your whole body's supposed to be holy. So if you're lying to people, how in the world can you consider yourself to be holy? You know, not to toot my own horn, but I didn't say things to people that have came to pass, and they come to tell me, hey, this came to pass. You understand? How do you know if you're a man or woman of God? If what God is using you for comes to pass. If it don't come to pass, now this is the thing. If people change their ways, it cannot come to pass. Jonah, hey, destruction, repentance. Okay, it's not happening. I changed my life around. Glory be to God. That's not a false prophecy. You got the warning. You got it. You received it. And you went and made changes. Do you understand? Let's keep going. For when they speak grace willing words of vanity, they are lured through the lust of the flesh through much wantonness. Those that are were clean escape from them who live in error. Let's see what wantonness means. Oh, I never tried to look up that word. Let's see. I got that dictionary here, boy. Did you like it? Wantonness. Sexually loose, playful, unprovoked, or malicious, recklessly ignoring justice, a wanton person, a sexually loose woman. <laughs> Want your back, Beyonce? <laughs> Want your back like that? Basically lustful, sexually. Those that were cleanly escaped from those who live in error. Now you got this destructive heresy came in. You bring these people to your church. To talk and they sexually immoral. God has blessed me so much I can sleep with who else. Anyway, while they promise them liberty, they themselves are the servants of corruption. They are corrupt. So they teach corruption. For of whom a man is overcome, of the same he has brought into bondage. For if after they have escaped the pollution of the world through the knowledge, of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ that they are again entangled therein and overcome the latter end is worse with them than the beginning it gets harder the more you keep falling away I know this people it gets harder each time you keep going back to the world it gets harder next thing you know you could stuck out there this is worse for it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness and after they have known it to turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them take these people that turn from worshiping God to being a Muslim, or from believing in the Holy Bible, to believing in Buddhist, you know, ooh, Lord have mercy. But it, it has happened unto them, according to the true proverb, the dog is turned to his own vomit again, and the soul that was washed to her wallowing in the mire. Good God, this Bible is real. People love want to go back, go back. A change. God gave you this word. You better keep it. This is the thing. I grew up in the church. I went out in the world, had my prodigal son moment. Was this close to turning away from God before I really truly knew God. And right before I turned, some came and said, Woo! Now I know the truth. Now if I was to go back against what God has taught me, now, and go back to doing other things or worshiping another God, holy crap, I'm going to be in a hell of fire. This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you, and both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance, that you may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets, and of the commandments of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior, knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers, walking after their own lust. They draw people in through their lust for me. And saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the father's will is sleep. So there's another one. People who try to, where's God? Jesus supposed to be a king, baby. 
That's another one. He's giving you some of the examples. For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. For this they willingly got in ignorant of, of that by the word of God the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water. Whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished. But the heavens and the earth where are now, by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men and women. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing. That one day is with the Lord as a thousand years and a thousand years a day. How did the God, the earth is many years old. How did God create the world and, and the world so, so, hey, God is over time and space. It might look like a million dollar, a million years to your instruments, but to God it could have been seven days, six days to be exact. Six days. Mm -mm. Could have been, you understand? Don't stop thinking about what you think in science. Science will confuse you. God can do a lot of things quicker and better than man can because he created everything. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise as some men count slackness, but is long suffering towards usward. Not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. The suffering that you go through, but he said, if you suffer as a busy body, I'll even do it. Uh, don't do that. So as a Christian. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. And the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements that shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the words, works that are therein shall be burned up. Seeing that all things shall be dissolved, what manner of person ought you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Hey, stop hanging with certain people. It is what it is. Looking for and hasting into the coming of the day of God, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we according to his promise look for a new heavens and a new earth. Am I saying be like Elon Musk? Trying to build your new heaven. We're looking for the new heaven and new earth that God is going to bring down to us. We're not trying to escape to the moon. You see what happened a few days ago? Oh, they have a moon landing. We're going to go to the moon. And guess what happened? Oh, something's wrong. We cancel. One thing about God, he ain't canceling nothing. If he says he's going to do something, he's going to do it. You understand? Why are people trying to go to the moon? They're trying to escape the dependent destruction. Well, guess what? You flee to the moon, God said he's going to destroy that too. <laughs> oh, shoot. The moon, the moon can't save you from the Lord. <laughs> the moon will be blackened in the sun too. It's done. With the Bible, we never really talk about Mars, but they say the stars will fall from the sky. Talk about wormwood. A big <laughs> asteroid coming and falling to the sea. The Bible talks about these things, people. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that you look for such things, be diligent that you may be found of him in peace without spite and blameless. And account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation. Even as our brother, beloved brother Paul, also according to the wisdom given unto him, hath written unto you, and also in all his epistles, speaking in them things in which are some things hard to be understood, which they that are unlearned and unstable rest as they do also the other scriptures into their own destruction. Did you get that answer? False teachers, false prophecies. Let's go back a little bit. False teachers among who, who shall bring in the damnable heresy, even denying the Lord that bought them, and bring upon them swift, self swift destruction. And many shall follow their pernicious way by reason of the way of truth, of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. And through covetous shall they make vain words, make merchandise of you. They don't understand the scripture themselves. They call themselves teach. Ye that ever beloved sin, you know these things. Before beware, lest you also be led away with the error of the wicked. Fall from your own steadfastness, but grow in the grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to whom be glory both now and forever. Amen. Glory be to God. Why do you need to study? Why do you need to read the Bible? Why do you need to know? Because the Bible warns us of people who's going to distort the reality of what the Bible is all about for themselves and to draw you away to be just like them. I call it the synagogue of Satan. I don't know what the synagogue of Satan is, but I don't think it's going to be the one that with the Baphomet and all that. It's going to be a bunch of teachers that said going to be a falling away from the church. 
a great falling away. You understand? Every time I pass by, I see churches empty and be, but empty. Lord have mercy. They see we got the biggest church to be empty all day. That's some churches that got screws and stuff like that. Glory be to God for them. Some of them will actually try to utilize their, all the space that the God has given them. You understand? For the children and for other things and activities. But a lot of churches are empty throughout the week. The doors of the church are open. Yeah, yeah all on Sunday. Only those who are members. It's a church out there in Sarah, and you got to get an invitation to get there. You can't just walk up to the door like, I don't want to come in. Huh? Who invited you? The Lord. Can you override that? You know what I'm saying? I got to have somebody invite me to the church in order to come here and forget you. Freely, you have received. Freely, you shall give. Let me in. Who are you? That's judgmental. That's ridiculous. What you think? Good morning. What you think? You think that's right? Nah. Man, you let people in. It ain't the Oscars. It ain't the Grammys. You gotta have an invitation or an invite. You understand? You're supposed to be able to walk up in the church right now. And they're supposed to let you in. With no questions asked. Not because you look like you've been in the streets. That's who you want. When you open that door and you see that person that strung out and hung out, you're supposed to be like, oh, yeah, come on in. But no, y'all looking for people with suit and ties on. You know why I wear my hair and grab beard and I dress regular? Because I want people to judge me when I step into a building. I want you to say something. I want to test you. Well, actually, I like my hair like this, and I'm not going to get a low cut because the world says I need a low haircut. But the world's so messed up, you can't even trust men with beards. I saw a video of a man about to be engaged to his wife. He was engaged, about to marry his wife. And then they had the nice suit, got the pictures taken and everything. And then come close to time to get married, he called it off. And then now you see him with a beard with tights on and married to another man. Good googly mugger. If you're going to be gay, be gay. Don't draw a woman up into that junk. That's worse to me. You understand? Down the closet. You understand? What's going on, people? If you're going to be that, be that. Don't trick nobody else. God knows your heart. But don't bring somebody else along with your evil and deceitful ways. You understand? It is what it is. There's more people out there like that than you know. Way more. Uh, as, as speaks from speaks from experience. Be careful who you marry. Good and mercy. Careful. Trial and error. I told you I'm like Samson. No, oh, I just want a wife. You remember Samson had a purpose. Oh, okay. That's the only thing that keep me sane. Maybe I'm going through this because the Lord wants me to. That's what keep me going. You understand? You know, I understand but everybody want a good relationship and a good Holy Spirit filled home and blessings. Wait on the Lord, people. Be patient. And pay attention to what people are saying to you. Everybody say, Lord, Lord, don't work for the Lord, Lord. How many times I got to say that? It's because they say Jesus tank. Because you quote one line of scripture in your whole career since you've been making music, you want to get up here and quote one line of scripture like you're a teacher now. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus, Kanye West. I rebuke a lot of y'all. I don't listen to you. I got time for you. I can look at you and tell you you're not living a life pleasing to the Lord because you put yourself out there. You understand? Why in the world, since you separated from your wife, you go find another woman and start sleeping with her? Oh, Kim Kardashian, you divorced your husband, and now you sleep with this other guy. You're supposed to remain single. That's what I thought. I don't, I don't, that's what the word says. I don't mean go fornicate. 
As I watched the video not too long ago, you understand wantonness. A woman had a party with all her female friends. I'm free to do what I want to do. I'm divorced. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can go to the club again. Go out with my friend. I can go to the club again. Nah, nah I ain't about that, people. Nah, if you separated from somebody, stay single. Avoid fornication. As a friend, girl, I got to know this dude that really wanted me to. What she said, I know this dude that gonna really lay it down for you, girl. It's like, yeah, he got me already, and I'm married. <laughs> you know, people introduce you to people they like. <laughs> Boy, I'm, I'm crazy, ain't it? I think she'll be a real good fit for you. Real good fit for you, man. You know, perfect you. I slept with her about six years ago. It's perfect for you. I know her. I know, her. I know him. <laughs> Stay as you are. He said, if you are loose from a wife, she's not to be bound to one. Just go with the flow. You know, that's what's wrong with a lot of people. They get out of a, a, a marriage. Or to get out of a relationship and they're so quick to find a you think I, you think I don't think it's lonely I want the same promise that God gave Adam I do but the thing is I'm telling you people you can go out there and you can let the wrong person in when you got this time by yourself focus on the Lord do you hear me focus on the Lord because people gonna as soon as you get out of that relationship I'm telling you somebody gonna draw you in you free now. Let's go to the club. This mother married and be at the club three times a week. Oh, you are beautiful. You are the best wife ever. I just, I would love a man having a wife like you. No. You understand? Covetous children. Covetous children. I did a video years ago about misery loves company. You know why these preachers and false teachers and stuff like that, they miserable. And they want you to think they're not. So they try to draw you into their misery. God wants you to have Louis Vuitton person. I heard a preacher say that in this. I want you to have material things. And I threw that CD out the window. And that's the same church I gave my life over to. And uh, I noticed that about it, right? And then uh, I, I told my, I didn't want to tell my sister about it. I was going to the church. And I uh, so, a few years passed, and I see my sister and her husband at the time. Y'all still go to that church? No, we don't go to that church no more. Why? Because it was about covetousness. Hmm. Glory be to God. I saw it. You saw it. Glory be to God. Don't go. But this is the problem with that. A lot of people let churches and false teachers and false prophets and the way the word is being evil spoken of turn them away from the word. You see, turn is, it's meant to turn you away from them and draw you closer to the word. Do you understand? If you at a spot and you're like, you're reading the Bible and they just distorting the reality of the things and Something wrong here. I'm out of here. But stay in here. Get out of there and stay in here. Let me say that again. Get out of there and stay in here. You see, that's the problem with most people. I done heard it so many times from different people. I had a person that worked with me not too long ago. I went to churches growing up and they, they was all the men in there tried to holler be and they taught different from what the word say. I was like, what they got to do with the word? They got something to do with them. Let me pause now. We'll continue, people.